Yes, today is all about rice and we need to upgrade it, you know, we need to... Uh, all the ladies! So today I'm going to show you how to make chapkokbap. Chapkokbap means mixed rice. So I picked up a lot from the store. I'm going to teach you how to make a healthier bowl of rice. Let's go! Let's start off with the Korean rice we have been using. It's the same thing as Japanese rice. If you look at the grain size, it's very short. So a short grain rice. And it releases a fair amount of starch. That's why the rice clumps together. This is our base rice and what we've been using. Also, if you're at a Korean mart, this is called mepsar. So what I want to do is mix one cup mepsar with one cup of multi-grain rice. And let me just show you what these guys are. The first one, guys, is hyunmi, which means brown rice in Korean. I'm sure you're very familiar with brown rice. It's that rice which makes you feel like you're eating healthy. <laughs> and next we have chapsal. This means glutinous white rice. So the name is a bit misleading. Um, it doesn't have any gluten. It means glutinous in the sense that it's very sticky. So it's glutinous as an adjective. <laughs> so this rice, when at cooking temperature, it releases a lot of starch, even more so than our normal mepsal. If you look at the color, you'll see this one here is a little bit see-through and then our glutinous rice is actually almost white that's how you know the difference and guys as a side note since we're talking about this uh, glutinous chapsal there's also glutinous brown rice i didn't buy that one but that one also gets very sticky next koreans like to use susu and susu is millet this one that i bought i think it's uh, african millet i could be wrong and then this one is chal kijang. This is also another type of millet. This is glutinous millet. So this millet will also release a lot of starch. So it gets sticky. And next we have chal hukmi. So chal again, if it says that, it means it's glutinous. And hukmi means black. So glutinous black rice. And apparently black rice back in the day was reserved only for the emperor to eat. And uh, if you sprinkle some of this into your rice mixture, it'll turn the rice purple. And then finally, the formal English name is black adzuki beans and it just gives um, extra protein to the rice so you feel more full without eating more carbs. <music> to make it very simple, just add equal parts in. A half cup of everything, half cup of the millet in, and then half cup of the other millet. <laughs> half cup of brown rice and then half cup of the glutinous rice. All right, you can just mix around with your hands here. Now, I've only used like four in this multi-grain recipe, but there are over 20 types that you can use. All right, guys, now I'm going to just pour this into a Tupperware. Take it outside and uh, feed some birds. Save the others to make a different mix. And again, the black rice you want to just use as a topping, so I'm not going to put it in here. So we add these later, okay? All right, so the game plan today is to use two full cups of rice, which would feed four to five people. It's gonna be one cup of our regular white rice plus one cup of our multi-grain mix. One cup of the mixed rice. And we'll just give this guys a quick wash. And then we'll just fill it up with water. And we're gonna leave this for two to three hours. If you wanna add beans, I'll just grab a handful, just get a handful. Like, All right, same thing, just wash it and then soak it in water. They're very hard. So if you soak them, they get soft. And voila guys, I already made one earlier. Let me get rid of the water. And if you look now, they're all full. Same thing with the beans, they're fully hydrated. And guys, if you simply don't have two to three hours to wait, just do this overnight. It's okay that they soak for a longer period of time. Put this into a bigger bowl here. Then with our beans, I'm gonna just grab a, a handful like this much. I think that should be good enough. And then remember I told you the black rice we can use as a topping. I'm gonna do about a teaspoon and a half. And this is gonna turn it that purple color. You can skip this if you want your rice to remain white. All right, one and a half. And then finally, one cup of our base, our short grain rice. To be honest, you can just cook rice like this, just with the multigrains. But I like to mix this in. That way we get um, just more volume and, it's, and it gets very expensive just to eat multigrains. All right, and then just mix that in. 
And then we're gonna put it through a sieve just so that we can get accurate water measurement. If we don't use a sieve, you forget about all of this water it's been soaking in. So you pour in fresh water and then the total amount becomes a little bit too much. All right, so there's a variety of way that you can cook rice. The way that I usually cook rice is through a, a rice cooker like this one. It's an electric rice cooker. And if you use this, you have to pre-soak the grains and the beans like we did just now. Or you may have already upgraded your lifestyle and you have one of those high-end pressure rice cookers. <laughs> With those, you're gonna have a pressure cook button and then you don't have to go through pre-soaking. Just wash it, put it in, and cook it immediately. Or you may have a pressure cooker. Obviously, I don't have one, but you know the one that goes and same logic here, you don't need to pre-soak the multi-grains or the beans. Just put it in here and pressure cook it. All right guys, and for this video, I'm gonna show you how to make it using a regular pot. You wanna have a thick bottom pot or else the rice is gonna burn very quickly. And the other requirement is that your pot has a, a lid. I actually lost its original lid, but replaced it with a, a gold top. All right guys, then just pour the rice in. It comes to water, multi-grain needs a little bit more water than regular short grain rice. But remember, we've already soaked these. These guys are all full. So we can just still do a one-to-one -one ratio. Uh, and then I'm gonna do two cups of water. That's one, and here's the second cup. And if you decide to use your rice cooker or your high pressure rice cooker, or just a regular pressure cooker, the required water amount will be slightly different, plus or minus five, 10%. So just pre-soak, use a one-to-one -one ratio, and then start making adjustments uh, as you see fit. Be open to a little bit of trial and error. All right, let's start. Lid on and we're gonna bring this up to a boil. Medium high, don't go full high or else you're gonna burn the rice. Once you hear it boil, we're gonna use a spoon and we're gonna mix up the bottom of the rice to the top so it doesn't stick to the pan and burn. Put the lid back on top, reduce the heat to a low. Put it on low heat for about five minutes. In the beginning, you're gonna get a little bit of leakage, but if you see that your pot keeps throwing up, that means uh, your low heat is too high. So bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. After five minutes, we're gonna take it off the heat and we're gonna just let it chill for like 10 minutes. And this part is very important. This part is where it steams. It's kind of like steak where you just gotta let it do its thing. Probably gonna be tempted to take a peek, but no. All right, guys, the boss says it's ready. Open up. Wow, take a look at that, guys. Woohoo! Oh, that's beautiful. You can, I kind of like to X, kind of like to mix it up like this a little bit. Oh, wow. Guys, you see those beans in there too? Very sticky. Very nice. Take a small bite. Overall, it tastes much more hearty and filling than just uh, normal white rice. So the best thing, guys, if you cook too much or you live by yourself, just put like a one person serving of rice. Roll it up. And then just put this in the freezer. And yeah, if you want to make a quick dinner, make some panchans and you need some rice, microwave for two minutes and it tastes almost exactly the same as uh, when it just comes out. You guys learn a lot today? <laughs> All right, I close out here. See you guys. Adios.